Hi everyone, Mr. Morgan Lewis here at the school. In this video, we're going to go through some techniques from the Pat and Tay Gay. Not necessarily the whole thing, but we're going to go through movements that are quite intricate and therefore need a lot more practice, perhaps more so than others. The pattern itself is quite challenging, but these moves uh, have some uh, important timings that need to be worked on quite a lot. Okay, so I'm going to do each movement facing you, and then I'm going to do it facing away so you can see exactly how they should be performed. Okay, so. I'm going to start in the ready position. Now, the ready position for this pattern is closed ready stance B, okay? Now, traditionally, from where you're standing facing me, you should be starting going that way, okay? So you would be here, and then you go here for your first move. But at the moment, we're not doing the whole pattern, so it's okay. Just follow the movement from where you are as best you can. I'm going to do it laterally. So, you're in your, uh, your ready position, okay? So what I want you to do, I'm gonna go this way first, and you're gonna go the way that you, you'd start the pattern. We're gonna go into an L stance and do an inner forearm block like so. So we've got arm pulled back, this one here, this one bent more than this one, okay? As an L stance, you should know. Okay, now, what happens here on this next one is this hand comes back to the shoulder, and as that happens, this hand raises. So we get this action, okay? So it's... Uh, a low section upset fingertip thrust because we're using the fingertips we want to make sure our thumb is to the side but we might not necessarily be using the fingertips we could be using the palm here or well, depending on the situation we're on well we could actually tuck the thumb in and use the ridge hand and the knife hand but for the pattern's sake okay your thumb is tucked to the side when you're doing a fingertip thrust okay so from here out like this so what i'm doing is i'm going from L stance I'm raising my foot, and my back foot is just turning like this. So I'm not actually stepping that, it's just this one. Okay, so I move that front foot into walking stance and drill that down like so. So this pulls back to the shoulder, and this goes out nice and straight, and that wants to be in line with the center line. So it's not going down here or across here, it's right in front. Okay, walking stance, two shoulders, one. Now from here, when you do the next move, it'll bring you back into the middle, and you'll see how I do it. So there's your ready position, so you go, one, you go two, and then when you come back at this time, this hand goes up high for a back fist. This one goes low for a low block, all right? But you go into a closed stance, which is feet together. So you go from here, you go back to his chamber, up onto your tiptoes, so your heels are off the ground. You go up, and then as you drop on the heels, you do low block and inner forearm block here. And it's, it's supposed to be done slow motion to demonstrate control, so it's here, and up, 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 here. It's really important that move that you don't let yourself lean back because you'll find yourself dropping really quickly. Just make sure you go straight up and down. Chamber, drop. So the heels drop at the same time as this, and this finishes. Now your back fist is going to be here, extend it further away, low block in front of your belt, like that. Okay? Now do the other side. So we go here, inner forearm, slip out, and then we come back up, and it's here. Golden rule with this part is this is currently the lowest hand. That will now become the highest, all right? Those, who have, those who have learned this pattern with me before will have heard that many, many times, all right? You, you've got to take the low hand and take it up highest. So it's here to here, okay? I'll do it facing the other way now. So when you start your pattern, you're going this way, and this is how it should be. It should be in a forearm, slip out, Low upset fingertip thrust, back in, up onto your tiptoes, and then you go down onto your heels, and there's your low block in your, your back fist, okay? And then here, in the forearm, slip, down, up, and drop, like so. Okay, that's the first one. Now, in this pattern, we also have something called a W-shaped block, which looks a bit peculiar but it has got its own reasons and its own methods for using. That's covered in a separate video, but at the moment we're just going through the movement based on the fact that someone either hasn't learned the pattern before or hasn't done it for a long time. So, we're going into, just going to a normal ready position now, okay, because remember we're not actually doing the pattern, we're just doing movements from the pan. Right, w shaped block starts from here and you're gonna go like this, okay? So you've got your feet together and you've got your knuckles, your index knuckles sitting on your belt. From here, you're gonna raise your arms up into this position. So what we've got is your upper arm parallel to the floor and your forearm perpendicular to the floor. So we haven't got this, we haven't got this, we haven't got it down here. Okay, 90 degrees. Yeah. 
parallel to the floor, perpendicular. Right now, when you do this movement, we're gonna do it facing this way first. You start like this. You're gonna step across, okay? With one leg, doesn't matter which one, but whichever way you go, you're gonna turn your hands out like this, turn your wrists out. Because when you do this action, what's supposed to happen is your arms turn in, and that's what gives it the snap and gives it the, the uh, power from it. So it's like this, and then down. And when I do this movement, I'm going to sitting stance, feet pointing forward, two shoulder blades wide, and you've got to do this action, turning inwards, but as you do it, you have to stamp on the ground. The knee comes up as a chamber, but it's almost as if you're going to do a kick, but there isn't actually a kick to it at this point. Okay, so it's here and here. Okay, and then when you do it again, you step across and here. And then when you do it the next time, never necessarily go backwards on it. Okay, imagine from this position, imagine I'm going to throw a kick around that way. Imagine I'm going to come around and throw a turning kick, for instance, or, or I'm going to pop a knee strike up. If you just follow your leg, that will, that will tell you which way to go. So from here, you step across, boom, down. So again, you're in your sitting stance. Up, round, boom, and so on and so forth. I'll do it a few times coming towards you now. So I'm going to start here. So it's here, and then step across, and then one more time, more. So it does look a bit of a peculiar movement, but it has, as I said before, it has got its methods and has got its uses. Okay, now, from here, we're going to go into the next move, which is going to start from this position, but in an L stance. So I want you to make an L stance, make a low block, and a back fist. Now, one way you can do it is start here and just take one step back. As long as this is going back here and it's not here, then that's correct. Basically, your hand wants to be past your elbow using these two knuckles. This one is in front here, okay? Right, so this movement, you've got to be careful. We've got to make sure you're warmed up and you're, uh, you've got plenty of room because it involves some jumping. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start here. I'm going to use the blue square opposite me as my uh, landing point, if you like. So the movement you're going to do is an X stance, X fist, okay? So I'm going to start in this position here. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to show you what the legs do, then I'm going to show you what the hands do, and then I'll show you the whole thing. So the legs, just relaxing the arms, just go like this and like this. They make an X. So what happens is I jump in the air and cross my legs. I land with my back foot as the dominant foot. So what that means is that goes in front like this with the, uh, the heel flat. This one goes behind it on the ball of the foot. So my knees don't touch. So if I was to squat down, they don't touch. All right, and ball of the foot here, this one's flat. So that's, that's gonna make us nice and balanced, okay? So from here, you can see, if I turn this angle and do it, I'm not like this. It's really, really close to the other foot, like this, okay? So when you do the movement, from your arm stance, you jump forward and you're here. You bend your knees, keep your back straight. Now, what's happening with the hands is we're doing this and then this. So an X fist comes up by the outside of the chest and then goes down and you treat it as if you're punching. Okay, X fist pressing block, you're not blocking anything. Okay, that's a strike. <laughs> okay, so it might be that maybe someone's throwing a, about to throw a kick towards like a front kick or a knee strike. This is a good one to use that on. Okay, so you start here, you've got that, and then you put this on top of it. Now the timing should be that I jump and bring these up at the same time, like that. Okay, so as you actually jump forward, you're pressing with your arms or punching, as I like to think of it, all right, as you bend your knees. It's important to let yourself go down as low as you can get, but keep your back straight. Don't do this, okay, because you will not make that landing very well. Your body should be like this, okay, up the whole time you're doing it. So it's here, here, okay, that way you can go down and sink into it. Okay, so from the top, we go back fist and low blocks, so we're gonna jump, and we're gonna land here. So now if you've got your feet in the right place and your back straight, you should be able to hold that position, okay? Because then, if you remember when we went through this through the Jun Gun practice and some other patterns as well, we have the double forearm lock. You're gonna go into that movement from there. So it's here, jump, form, and then you step up and go right here, okay? So as you step up from the X fist, okay, like so, 
you stand up, draw your arms back and through. So, the whole thing in one swift motion. So you've gone here, you go jump, and up here. I'll do it from the other angle this time, okay? So I shall start, uh, I shall start this time. All right, ready? So we're jump, press in, straight out to here. One more time. So there's the back fist and the low block. In the pattern, you only do it on one side, but I'll show you both sides so you can see all the angles. And then I'll do it come towards you as well. All right, so here, then up, and here. Now towards you, okay? So, back fist low block. Jump in, eyes forward the whole time. Press in, up, and forward. Okay, now that brings us to one more move we're gonna cover for this video. And that is a circular block. Now, circular block and scooping block are exactly the same move. But why have they got two different names? Well, one main reason. <clears throat> to do with the legs. The scooping block, when you do this movement from one yo and some other patterns as well over time, is uh, the, placing emphasis on going down almost like a, a lunge and uh, going up and then going like this. The circular block is the same arm movement, but it's not the same leg movement, okay? So, for this drill, we're gonna do it just going side to side, because at the end of the pattern, you do that facing your, your where your square is facing, or your where your start position was, and you just go from side to side. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a step out to the side, nice and wide, and then what I want you to do is turn your feet 45 degrees. So what you've got is a 45 degree walking stance. Okay, so when you do this movement, you actually step out and turn off to 45 like this. So my foot is actually pointing, if I'm, in, if I'm in this square, it's actually pointing to that corner. This one goes along the same line and a parallel line. So it's here and here. Now, when you do this movement, the arms cross, palms facing towards you. What you do is you twist and do this action. Pulls back, this one is a reaction hand, this one twists out, okay, and uh, we let our body go down, but we don't drop and then come up. We go down, twist. Okay, so the scooping block would have done this. The circular block does this. So you can see all I'm doing is just keeping my back leg straight. All right. So the movement is arms out like a bird. Okay, and here. Now when you do this movement, the arm wants to be in between the legs. Okay, so you're turning your body away from the movement. So from where you can see, you should see that it's pretty much in the middle between the two, okay? And then we're gonna step across and go this way. And this is the drilling format that I want you to do it. Because remember, we're not doing the entire pattern, we're just doing movements from it. But this is how you do the movement in the pattern. Now, from there, a part two to that is twist from side to side without stepping. So you do your first one, and then what you do is you twist and go here. Twist here. And you can see that both arms are working. Look, both arms are working. Now, if you can see what I'm doing on my feet, I'm doing it really slow. I'm raising my toes and going onto the heels. That encourages a quicker spin, but it stops you from jumping your legs out. Because sometimes we, people step out like this, making their stance wider and therefore losing balance. From here, your, your stance should be the same. You just raise your toes, spin on the heels, twist, spin, twist, spin, twist, spin, and twist. Okay, so to summarize, you had inner forearm, lower upset fingertip thrust, back fist and low block, okay? You had the W shape block, back and forth. You also had back fist low block, X fist pressing, double forearm, and then you've just had the circular block. Okay, so practice those moves religiously, all right? There'll be more content to follow in coming videos, but for now, practice those movements to get an understanding, and of course, the rest of the pattern can be found on our members page as well. Okay, right, take care of yourselves, enjoy, and uh, happy training.